Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us at um, our After Hours Market Report. And today we have a special guest. We have Transpider here, and we have Jake representing Transpider. Hello, Jake. How are you today? Great. Thank you guys for having me on today and uh, letting us show the platform off a little bit. Yeah. So before we get started, Jake, I mean, I know that you also trade and, uh, you know, we've got to know each other and I know you trade uh, stocks as well. So can you tell us a little bit about your, you know, tra trading background and then how you actually connected with Transpider? Sure. So uh, <laughs> that story starts uh, when I was 12 years old. My dad know what he was thinking but wanted me to start learning about stocks so he he gave me uh, a custodial account because when you're that young you can't have your own account so he's kind of the custodian on my account that i was trading um and so i just started to look at different stocks kind of took a couple things he had given me from scott trade that they kind of gave for research purposes and um just started to mess around bought some some shares of a couple random companies, uh, you know, but started to over trade immediately, you know, as a kid. So, um, you know, blew that account up pretty quick. And from there, it, it's just been a big, there's a new lesson every day that I learn. I started trading a, pretty heavily in high school as well during the financial crisis after I had blown up that account when I was like 12 years old. Um, and so in high school, my mom and I uh, traded her IRA and um, you know, traded kind of these companies that just had taken a big, big old dump like AIG, Genworth Financial, XL Capital. Uh, there was a ton of different stocks that had just gotten hit really hard. And so we were just playing the bounce and ended up making quite a bit of money from it. And then um, went to college and studied economics. And so... I was I started to kind of put together why price action was occurring based on different kind of microeconomic forces at work, if you will, just supply and demand, and and really started to get into uh, trading lower indicators and candles, uh, probably when I was 19 or 20, and then um, I I started with a startup out of Duke University doing some uh, business development and. You know, it was a pretty, pretty easy job. There wasn't a ton to do. And so I would trade a lot. <laughs> and so uh, <laughs> I continued to, to trade through that whole uh, two-year contract. Um, in 2015, learned some pretty hard lessons about leveraged ETFs <laughs> and, uh, and getting too uh, emotional in a trade. So uh, a lot, some of the money that I had made back in high school, I had lost uh, – you know, got hit pretty hard during the the oil crisis. Pretty much is what it was when just the oil market tanked, and um, and then uh, st started my own subscription, just a quick uh, kind of linear subscription type deal. And um, while I was doing that, one of my subscribers introduced me to Dan, who is our founder. Asked, hey, would you be interested in helping start this company? It's a new charting platform, and we're looking to automate a lot of the things that you do manually on on the charts. And um, once I kind of saw what this had and you know, the value that we could potentially add to c customers and traders, I was I was on board and joined the team full time in October. Wow, that's um, awesome! So it's it's been a long kind of journey. Um, you know, I think with, with like everyone, there's been a lot of accounts that have, have seen damage and there's been those prosperous times too. Um, but it's really cool to be now on the side of the industry where we're providing a tool for traders rather than necessarily being in the heart of, of trading and, and all that, like in a subscription service like I had before. Well, you know what? That's a really good, um, a really good story. And you know what? Um, everyone can relate to that, I'm sure, because everyone has had to start somewhere. And so I'm really interested to hear about, you know, Transpider and how this uh, software tool can really, really help traders. And I know that it also gives data on um, foreign exchange and crypto. So, you know, the, for the other traders that trade those kind of markets. Um, so can you talk to us a little bit about 
what this software can do for someone that's, let's say, new to trading and how TrendSpider can really be so helpful? Sure. So, you know, I think there's different layers of the platform that different people can utilize. So, for example, um, one of the things that we try to do is automate some of the processes of technical analysis. And a lot of people start trading and they, you know, they're looking at they're looking at price action and they're not necessarily understanding why why is the price reversing there? Why is the price bouncing there? And that's that's really where trend lines come in. I mean, a lot of the time, trend lines are self-fulfilling in the market and, and price action respects those areas. So what we have the ability to do is automate some of these processes such as uh, trend lines, Fibonacci levels, and, and those types of things. So it, it kind of gives the user um, someone who's newer to the market, kind of a sense of how these lines are drawn. Um, this isn't necessarily a, a platform where we're just drawing a single set of lines and those are the lines on the chart. Um, as I am showing on the, the platform right now, when you turn this trends button on, the system is automatically going to pick up different lines on the chart. Now, these lines are solely a function of what the preferences are in this menu that we have. So for example, when we go to advanced, you'll see that the base points are these different numbers here. But when you go to, let's say the analysis type and change it to original, these base points change and then the lines are also changing as well. So in this case, um, you can see there's only two lines on this chart um, that the system is kind of filtering out, if you will. Now, the cool thing is we have the ability to show different different layers of filtering on the chart as well. So let's say, um, you know, maybe we like these base points and it's not necessarily showing a ton right here, but then we go to show trends and show more lines. And the system is then going to pick up on different lines that the system is kind of found, but it's just filtered out. So, so it's really a way to get one, get ideas, on different lines in the market that you may not think of. So that's how I use it. And being kind of a, a trader who's analysis, this is one thing it helps me with just to just to kind of get out of my own biases and, and maybe think of different ways to draw a trend line that I normally wouldn't draw. So you can see here when we go back to, let's say enhanced here and apply that, go down a lot, and now there's a ton of different other lines on the chart. So based on what these points are, that's how sensitive or not sensitive the system is going to be when looking for trend lines. So you can kind of uh, unfilter it here. You can see less trend lines. And then on top of that, let's say that, you know, sometimes you want to use this just as something to complement your, your manual analysis. You can, always you can always draw your own trend lines as well. So for example, to go back to most relevant, and we, we can even turn this these lines off and then solely uh, rely on the manual drawing as well. So you can either draw them manually, you can draw them um, with the assistance of our, our mathematical formulas as well. And you can really get very kind of detailed as well. Um, you can really mess around with the preferences, mess around with these base points, and, and find how the system may work best for you based on these preferences. Now, uh, one real quick thing before I move on from trends, each trend line color is, a, is based on the formula that it's being drawn by in the system. So um, if you have any questions about the reason why certain li lines are drawn or why they're a certain color, that's where the trends uh, kind of button here comes in. And then if you want to see really how the, the different formulas are drawn and, uh, and kind of written, you can look at the menu here and you can see that each one of these variables is defined. Well, yeah, I really layer. Like it, it's there to help you. It's there to help you identify lines you may have not thought of. And then you slowly can start learning. OK, this is how the system's picking up lines and you can slowly start learning from there. Well, I really like how you can actually draw your lines and create your own alerts. So it's very, it's a very interactive um, product, a very interactive platform. And I think it's really good because you can set up your own alerts. You can have your own watch list. 
you can, you know, even if someone's new and they don't really know, like, what is a doji? What does a hammer on a chart look like? They can actually click on these icons and it actually identifies them. So I really like that for someone that's, let's say, newer to trading. Um, this is so, so helpful. Yeah. And so and so that's one side of it. We've got the automation side for the trend lines, the different uh, candlestick patterns. You can see here when I turn this button on different uh, candlestick patterns will show up based on what you've chosen in this library. So we've got a ton of different ones that you can choose from. And so um, this this starts to help you identify as a newer trader kind of what do these how do they look on the chart? How, how does the act to to the the pattern once it's formed that type of thing so that's another visual aid you can you can get from using this and as you mentioned before the alerts are very powerful as well so um it's it's not necessarily new that you can draw a trend line and make an alert on it there's different platforms that can do that but what we have the ability to do is kind of create this margin of error around the alert or around excuse me the trend line or indicator so in this case we've got this this resistance line and who knows if we did pull back it looks pretty strong here um, but tomorrow could be you know a uh, status quo changer with the fed talking but let's say we just want to put an alert at, below this this price action what we can do is we can change the sensitivity so the margin of error around the line is increasing and decreasing when you move this sensitivity to the right and to the left and you can see here, the alert is going to fire within X amount of uh, dollars. In this case, it's two dollars and thirty-three cents within this line. Allow you to capture those times where the price action doesn't get exactly to the trend line, and and especially newer traders, you'll learn that a trend line may look perfect, but then the price action reverses right before. Uh, it gets to that area. And that's generally because so many people are watching that area, you know, the price action um, kind of throws everybody off and reverses right before everyone can sell because it's almost so obvious. So this allows you to capture some of those moves where the price action doesn't hit that exact line or that exact indicator. And you kind of capture um, a cloud, a price cloud around that indicator or trend line, if you will. Well, you know what? I really like these features. I think that's really, really cool, actually, and very user friendly. So I like that. Um, so what if someone was using the software and they had questions or they want they wanted to know how to do something on a chart? Um, is there, are there like online videos or is there a way for them to engage with to get some sort of assistance with setting some of these features up? Sure. Yes. So we have a blog that goes over a lot of the different core features that we offer. And then on top of that, we do have um, free demos. So if you sign up for a trial, we do have the ability to get a free demo um, of the product. We also have webinars. So if you want to just sit in on a bigger group and we kind of teach how the, the system works and we, we're not teaching technical analysis we're teaching more how to use the system and and what we love is the the partnership that we're building with you guys where you know you guys you guys are the pros at teaching this stuff and then we just provide the platform that they can learn on so it's it's really cool to have that relationship with you guys as well yeah and we're and we're excited to uh, partner uh with trend spider because you know what a lot of the people that uh you know that we engage with that are new to trading actually they're not so comfortable with charting. And so uh, very excited for them to be able to try this uh, Transpider out and get a feel for it. And I think as they become more comfortable, they'll actually love charts a lot more, especially with the Transpider platform. I think it's gonna be very exciting and very engaging for them to, to feel more comfortable with reading a chart and identifying chart patterns. So this is awesome. Thank so, you. And it's really there to to um, replace technical analysis. It's there to kind of complement what you're trying to do by hand and, and provide ideas that are auto generated that you may have not thought of on your own. So it's really a way to help people learn how trend lines can be drawn, 
different ways that they're drawn. Um, but also it's really there to just be, be a, a guide sometimes for, for you if you don't want to have to spend two hours looking at 30 charts. The, the system will quickly pick them up. Most of the time, the main kind of obvious trend lines, depending on what uh, preference setting you're in, and, and you can really go through charts very quickly this way. Well, I think this is a really great, uh, robust platform for sure. Now, what about someone that is already using their own charting? And, you know, we have obviously a lot of experienced traders that probably do want to for sure try this out. Um, so can you tell us, you know, how this can benefit those individuals that are maybe already using a charting tool and now are going to uh, try out TrendSpider? Sure. So definitely the automation side of things is a big uh, value add for people who are already using a different charting platform that may not have those features. But what we also have is the ability to really um, do a, a multitude of different things. We've got the ability to overlay different time frames on a single chart. So for example, if you use the daily and the weekly chart, and let's say that you'd like to see how the daily price action maybe moves against the weekly SMA 20 or something like that, you can actually follow the, in this case, we'll do daily versus weekly. We'll do the 20. And you can see here that we're overlaying the, the weekly SMA 20 on the daily chart. So you can see how the longer term indicators are interacting with shorter term price action. And so it, it's one way to consolidate your charts and kind of get everything on one chart, especially if you like to keep things simple. It's pretty easy to do that with these different multi time frame features. Now, what we also have the ability to do is create alerts. So for example, if you have a strategy that you like to use, you can go in here and let's say that you like whenever the daily RSI greater than 30 or whatever your criteria are, you can go in here and create an alert for whenever price action and the lower indicators do a certain thing. So you can kind of follow along when each of these criteria become true. Maybe you also want to be alerted when there's a daily hammer on the, uh, on the candle here, you can do that. And so when all of these fall, when all of the following criteria become true, you'll be alerted. So it's really creating your own set of rules and having this watch these rules for you. So, um, say it goes back to really not having to set 30 different charts at one time. You're able to have the system watch these different criteria for you and then alert you when they all become true. Okay. And Jim, I mean, um, Jim, you used your own charting tool and I know that you have been trying out TrendSpider. Yep. How has that been going for you? Been going very well. Um, I like the idea where you you could set up alerts for like I, I spotted a little bit ago he had the three black crows pop up on the screen a little bit sooner when you had it in the chart pattern mode and mm -hmm. I've learned a lot by playing by doing these chart patterns I've taught a lot you know about sometimes they're great for a buy and then sell right after that the three white soldiers come in and there's a good exit point so I think using trend spotter would be a, a benefit for pointing out these kind of patterns and that's what I like about trend spotter myself and it also sets up alerts if you have like the uh, golden cross you could set up a golden cross alert and and so I think it, it'd be beneficial if you because you can't have your eyes on all, all the charts at the same time but you could have these set up to where you just put the ticker in and it automatically will pop up these little little ideas where the, the like he's done here with the, with the candles are highlighted in blue and it would be great for just showing them opportunities of getting into trade and learning chart patterns has really helped me intensify my trading and how I how I show people other people how to trade so the benefits of that uh, are very beneficial well you know what I think um, we will definitely be doing uh, more sessions about uh, TrendSpider's charting tool because there's so many things that this platform can do and I mean, we could probably, you know, have days of content uh, going through the amazing features that, the, that there are here. Um, but I know that, um, you know, Jake and myself and Jim, we're going to get together uh, again and we're probably going to go through some more specifics. And you know what? For those of you listening and watching today, 
I really want you to comment below in the video and tell us, you know, what do you want us to show you on the Trend Spider platform? Not only that, but we have a really great opportunity that if you want to sign up for a free trial, you can visit the website trendspider.com. You can use a coupon code LUV25B. And if you sign up before Saturday, 11.59 p.m., you will get an extended trial plus 25% off. And uh, Trendspider, very generous offer from Jake and, and his team that uh, one lucky user will actually get a free year of Trendspider on the house. And so if you sign up for the trial, uh, your name will randomly be entered into a draw. So I think this is incredible, Jake. Thank you for doing that. Hey, thank you guys for really having us on and, and letting us showcase a little of the system. One thing that I did want to show, and this is a very, very much a teaser kind of sneak peek of what we have coming, but to oh, build- Oh, because you did a lot of back testing. Let's hear about that. Yes, yeah, so we, we recently found out that um, through our multi-condition alerts, the multi-factor alerts that I pulled up here, um, we are now able to really start back testing these strategies that you put in. So let's say that you want to automate your strategy here um, and put in your conditions and then have the system follow it. Well, maybe you want to test your strategy before you put that into an alert. So what you can do here, and this is still on the back end, so this is not available to um, the general public yet, but what you can do is you can go in and you can do a strategy explorer and let's say that, let's do a very simple um, one here. Let's do the MACD. Say, all right, well, let's look at the daily uh, candle here. And we will look at, in this case, the chart. So we will be back testing whatever's on the chart here. And we'll go in and we'll say when the condition, when the indicator, okay, indicator MACD fast, is greater than the indicator MACD slow and go be able to test that. And this is the entry condition. This is the exit condition. Let's say that the exit condition is maybe we can either pick after X number of candles or we can do a script, same thing where we do maybe the um, same thing where the indicator MACD fast is less than the uh, maybe the MACD slow. And so we can have that as an exit that and we'll actually get the results right here. In this case, the MACD cross yields about 18% on average when that has happened on the chart. So that this looks so it really gives you the ability to go in, test your strategy, test it against the mean or a random control and see how it performs over time. So um, this, is, this is something that we think could be really powerful, especially for people that like to go in, test out their own strategy to see if it beats, um, you know, just doing a random approach and, and really is another way to help people get an edge um, and get some hard math on what they're looking at. Well, you know what? I think this is really uh, amazing. And when can we expect to see some of these new features released? So the back testing engine we're hoping to get out by the end of this week. Um, with any, you know, with software, a lot of the time things can things can definitely uh, be delayed for whatever reason. And so we're doing, you know, hopefully an ETA of, of Sunday. If it gets done before that, we will be very happy. If not. Um, it's just one of those things we want to make sure we've got all the bugs and everything fixed uh, and kind of sorted out before we make it uh, live. Well, you know what? That sounds really good. I look forward to the new enhanced features. And uh, also, um, we're, I noticed that uh, if anyone wants to follow Trendspider, you do have some social media accounts. If you guys go to trendspider.com, you can follow them on StockTwits, you can follow them on Twitter. Um, you can follow them there and, uh, they definitely do share videos and have a YouTube channel as well. So that's great. Yeah. We, we just started to try to get more active on YouTube. We're seeing a lot of engagement through making videos. And, um, so yeah, you can follow us through 
through that as well. All of them are just TrendSpider, just a single word. And so if you have any questions, you can always reach out at hello at TrendSpider.com and uh, also reach out through social media. We're very responsive um, through that. And uh, one last question for you, Jake. So I know that you guys have so much going on and you guys are going to be attending uh, quite a few events. Uh, can you tell us where you're going to be next and maybe uh, some of the viewers that live in those areas might pop in at the at the venue and want to meet you? Oh, that'd be great. So we have we just got done with the CMT Symposium in New York last week. Uh, that was really cool. And we'll actually be heading back to New York in June for the Benzinga event. And that's the one day event on Friday, June 7th. So if you uh, would like to meet with us, we will be there. Would uh, love to chat and uh, tell you more about TrendSpider. After that, a couple weeks later, we will be going to Montreal for Airplane Jane's Modern Traders Summit. And so that is the 22nd of June. And we will be there for the weekend as well. So if you're up in that area, feel free to uh, come by and, and reach out. And we'd love to chat with, uh, with you and tell you everything you want to know about TrendSpider or, uh, you know, this kind of just this industry and our product in general. Well, that sounds really good. I'm excited about everything you guys have planned. You know what? I love technology and I love anything that can make our trading, our trading day so much less stressful uh, is what we look for. And I think that uh, definitely TrendSpider has a lot of really great features that can help us uh, trade more efficiently and uh, automate a lot of things, which is great. Really like really nice tools that can really make, uh, your stress level sometimes less stressful. So on that note, I want to thank everyone for being here today. And I want to let everyone know that we'll be doing another session in a couple weeks with Jake. So please comment below in the video. Tell us what you want to see, what you want to uh, hear about, what do you want us to show you. Jake will be more than happy to accommodate your requests. So please don't be shy. Comment below. We'll do a video in a couple more weeks. And we'll do it all about uh, what you guys want. And don't forget, you can visit trendspider.com. You can sign up for a free trial. If you sign up for the trial, don't forget, use coupon LUV25B. And of course, one lucky user will get a free year of Trendspider on the house. What a, a great giveaway that uh, Jake and his team are doing. So thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you again for having us on. We're looking forward to uh, future videos. And um in, in that sense, we're excited to get these new features out and uh, something to talk about next time. Awesome. And Jim, anything you'd like to say before we go? I just think Jake's a very personal human being. He um, felt like I've known him for years, almost. It just, I so saw I really enjoy his company in our chat room and and I wish him the best of luck with TrendSpider. Thank you, man. Great. Really appreciate that. Okay, everyone. Well, this is the end of the aftermarket report with Trend Spider and I Love Stocks. We love everyone and we hope to see you all soon. And uh, please like the video and comment below. And please subscribe and follow Trend Spider and I Love Stocks. Have a great evening. Thank you.